Come on, let's go do something. We are doing something. The internet doesn't surf itself. That's a good idea. We should go surfing. Or we could just, you know, not do that. Where's this coming from? You're normally very supportive of my lazy, massive heart attack at the age of 45 type of lifestyle. Come on, this is your first weekend off since you started at the nonprofit, and things are only getting busier. This could be your last opportunity to do something. I mean, really do something for a while. What are you talking about? We do things all the time. We just took that walk yesterday. We walked from our car into the grocery store. And we even parked on a slight hill for additional cardio. Talk about living life to the fullest. We're not just gonna sit around the house and waste our lives away this weekend. Well then, what do you suggest? And surfing is a hard no for me. Looks like massive heart attacks at the age of 45 it is for us. Hey man, what's good? Do you invest in cruise lines like I asked? The, it's at what? The count's empty. Okay. All right, that's fine. We, we kind of expected that. Uh, what's Bitcoin at? Oh. So I'm, I'm broke. All right. That, oh, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, say hi to the wife for me. Uh, I'll call you back later, all right? Cool. Okay. Yeah. So I'm broke. That's new. Why'd you just take the bread off? Washing my carbs. What? Then why even get a sandwich? I might be dieting, but I'm still hungry for what's in the sandwich. Yeah, but now you're not eating a sandwich. You're eating a mess. It's called gluten-free. Do you realize the processed bread we eat in America today is nothing like our ancestors used to eat? Please, uh, my brain simply does not have the capacity for more trendy diets. So get this, Sophia says she wants to do fun things with me this weekend. I am so sorry, man. I've got three full days off, and I was hoping I'd be able to catch up on sleep, relax, and slowly clog every artery in my body with Ben and Jerry's, but it looks like those plans are off. Well, if you're looking for relaxing, I've got just the place. My grandparents' cabin. Really? They'd be okay with us going up there? Of course, and it's right on the lake. You've got fishing, sunbathing, swimming. It sounds like it's exactly what you and Sophia need. And your grandparents aren't gonna, you know. Nope, it would be all yours. And if you're ever gonna use it, now's the time. My grandparents are getting rid of it soon because of the divorce. Wow, I think we'll take you up on that offer. Great, I'll let them know you're coming. Yeah, I, I can't watch this. I'm gonna run into the office and make a copy of this presentation. Absolutely not. My nonprofit is dedicated to preserving wildlife and our environment. But don't you think we should have a backup copy in case something happens to this one? What could possibly happen? Spill coffee, drop in the mud, flash flooding. I am not gonna destroy another rainforest just so we can feel a little more prepared. Okay. Jordan, is that you? Hey, don't come any closer. I'll kill myself, I'll do it. Whoa, easy man, it's David. Remember me? I work with your friend Joe. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember you. Whoa, wait, wait, how do you two know each other? We interviewed Jordan for an investment a while back. What happened to you, man? A few bad investments is what happened to me. Joe told me you're one of the youngest Bitcoin millionaires ever. I'm sure you're gonna get back on your feet. I messed up, I lost everything. I'm down to my last 0.3 Bitcoin? Is that a lot of Bitcoin? Who even knows? 
I'm so sorry to hear that you're down on your luck, Jordan. Down on my luck? My life's been destroyed. At this point, I'm gonna be a stripper or worse than Apple genius. So sorry, man. Well, see ya. Wait, wait. I actually have a potential investment opportunity. Uh, a distribution company run by a buddy I used to do business with. A distribution company? You mean like Green Chef? Uh, yeah, something like that. Look, I just need a ride across town. We'll take you. What? No way, we're busy. We run a charity. We do not turn away people in need. Wait, you, you guys are really gonna help me out? Of course, come get in my car. I can't thank you guys enough. On second thought, we'll take David's car. <laughs> we desperately needed this vacation. It's been a rough week. They say being a cop is the toughest job because you see people at their lowest, but there's one job even worse, a barista. You see people at their true lowest, pre-morning coffee. Yesterday, a lady called us thieves and then just laid down on the floor. My manager literally had to roll her over so people could get by. I worry about humanity sometimes. And you remember the guy that asked me to go to Europe with him because anything is legal? Yeah, of course. Seemed like a nice guy. He asked me out again. I told him no because I was busy. And also because of the whole boyfriend thing, but go on. He gave me a brochure for a topless beach in France and then just ran away. Well, I've got quite the story for you. So last week at the nonprofit, my boss brought a dog in, right? Right. So the dog was there all day. And? And we pet the dog. We needed a relaxing week together. Just you and... You're a mess, Bob. Get off my back! Jeez, you broke another plate. Yeah, now two things are shattered. That plate and my will to live. I, I had no idea. Save it. I was thinking before we hit the investors with our big ask, we pass out some cookies or something. I was thinking we just get them drunk and then ask for their money. Yeah, that'll work. Jeez, what's taking Jordan so long? That's it. I'm tired of waiting. I'm going to go get him. What the hell? My car! That asshole stole my car. Don't worry, it wasn't that nice of a car anyway. Wait a minute, our presentation was in the back seat and we don't have another copy. You see why we should have made another copy? Oh, sue me for wanting to save Mother Earth. Well, now we're screwed. It took us weeks to put that presentation together. We don't have time to make another one. We can't give up. If we don't get this investment, we may have to close down the foundation. Well, what are we gonna do? We only have one choice. We have to track down Jordan and get that presentation back. Hi, Sophia. What are you up to? Nothing much, just enjoying the water. Are those bubbles? Suppose so, it is a lake after all. Where's Bob? No idea, probably out getting groceries. Uh, why is the rope and a big rock on the deck? Jeez, you ask a lot of questions. Didn't quite make it. I'll get it for you. Stop. Leave it there. What? Why? I need this to at least look like an accident. On an unrelated note, could you ask Maureen to come inside for me? Oh, I'm in here. That's okay. There's plenty of room. No, no, no. That's okay. I'm done anyway. Pa pass me a, a life jacket, please! I'm sitting on it, and it's really comfortable. Please, I'm, gonna, I'm so tired! I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Uh. Oh, 
I am so sorry about this. Are you sure we're gonna find Jordan here? All the burnouts come here to smoke weed. Trust me, he's here. How do you know they come here to smoke weed? Hey, focus. You wanna find him or not? No, you're right. Hey! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Stop! Uh -oh. Got you, old asshole. Hey, take it easy, man. I'm fragile. Where's our presentation? More importantly, where's my car? Hey, I, don't, I don't know about any presentation, but uh, yeah, I saw your car. What the hell, man? Trying to help you? You stab us in the back? Look, I had a great investment opportunity in that distribution company my buddy owns. Just say drug dealer. We all know what you're talking about. Look, I figure I'd get enough money to pay you back for your car and then get myself back on my feet. And? Uh, my drug dealer buddy stole your car. Gotta be honest, I did not see that one coming. Damn it, man! There was an irreplaceable presentation in the back of that car. And plus, it's my car. We meet with potential investors tomorrow, and now that we don't have a presentation, we are not gonna get the funding we need. I, I'm sorry, guys. Well, what are we gonna do? We only have one choice. We need Jordan's help. Come again? You've run successful companies before. You were a millionaire at one point. I'm sure you've given a few decent presentations. I, I mean, yeah. The, the name Sergey Brin ring a bell? Trust me, in Silicon Valley, that is like a very big deal. What would you even know about Silicon Valley? Uh, that's where all the plastic surgeons live. You're not actually considering letting this idiot present with us, right? Let's face it, we need his help. Jordan's a hit or miss kind of guy, but at this point, he's our only hope. So, how is it? It's a little cold. It's good though. Uh, a clown. A moron. Uh, the village idiot. No, I'm Bob. Okay, that's that's enough charades. Let's watch a movie. Oh look, you have Dumb and Dumber. There's no DVD. That's okay. I live that movie every day when I'm with Bob. Wow, it's a great turnout. You ready? Uh, a little queasy. Not sure if that's because the presentation or the four different antidepressants I'm on right now. You know we're screwed, right? Just get in there. You don't want to keep our investor waiting. <sighs> All right, let's do it. What kind of company is this again? Too late. Oh, this is an ocean cleanup nonprofit. Barely, you care to explain to your investors where our money is going? Oh, you. Haven't heard? Heard what? Uh, we've just started a huge new ocean cleanup initiative. We're gonna put the entire Pacific garbage patch into a rocket and launch it into space. Wow, that actually sounds pretty cool. But is it achievable? You have the opportunity to be part of ocean cleanup history. My question to you is whether you want to squabble over irrelevant things like, is any of this even possible? Or do you want to make history together? Okay, I'm in. I'm glad we have your support, and I promise you, I won't fail with this like I have with every other company I've ever run. Wait, wait, what? Okay, that's enough. Thanks. Great job, you guys. You did it. He pulls it off, buddy, and I never doubted you for a second. I totally crushed it. Not to sound braggy, though. And yet you are. Jordan, you really impressed me today. You know what? I want you to come and work for me at the nonprofit. Wait, what? I accept. Here, let me get that for you. Well, it looks like this is it. The old camp's been good to us. A lot of good memories here. You two have a long car ride home to reminisce. I guess we should be going. Make sure the new owners get this when they arrive. Will do. Funny thing life is, seems like just yesterday our kids were swimming in that lake, they were eating in that kitchen, but that's life, isn't it? It all happens so fast. Drive safe. Well, it's all ours. 
Finally, just the two of us for the rest of the vacation. We have a lot of relaxing to pack into this last day, so you grab some food and I'll grab the suntan lotion. What? No, what are you two doing back here? We just couldn't go through with it. Too many memories. The sale is off. I guess I'll go find a board game for all of us to play.